Some tiaras become famous because of their extraordinary materials or craftsmanship. Some had eminent owners or wearers, and some simply have a story you can't forget. This tiara was commissioned from Cartier in 1909 by Sir Hugh Montague Allen, wealthy Canadian banker and ship owner, for his wife, Marguerite. The diadem showcases a large central detachable diamond set within a meander-style band of circular, cut diamonds and a border of sea pearls. With strong links to Great Britain, Sir Hugh and the couple's eldest son and daughter joined the war effort in 1914. Not wanting to separate the family, Lady Allen and her two younger daughters, Gwendolyn and Anna, boarded the RMS Lusitania on the 1st of May 1915 bound for Liverpool. The diamond tiara was nestled within one of Allen's 20 pieces of luggage. There was a, a ritual that developed on board ships called the Grand Descente, which was the going down to dinner in the evening dressed in your finest couture. And of course, in the great age of the ocean liner, the kind of people would be dressed in the most extraordinary clothes in the first class service um, of these ships. Six days later, Lusitania was torpedoed by a German U boat and sunk quickly and violently. The family with two maids jumped into the water together. One of the maids rescued the tiara. But the cold and rough sea took the lives of the two Allen girls, along with 1196 other passengers. Lady Allen and her tiara survived the catastrophe and were rescued, only for her to later suffer the loss of their only son in his first service flight in 1917. Their eldest daughter Martha, who survived World War I, died in 1942. With the couple outlived all of their four children, Marguerite bequeathed the tiara to one of her cousins. In 2015, as the 100th anniversary of the Lusitania tragedy approached, the owner decided to sell the tiara. It was auctioned at Sotheby's and bought by Cartier for over half a million pounds.